Hey everyone, Matt here. So today is June 23rd, and I actually wanted to get into these hives two days ago, but it's been thunderstorming and raining, so I didn't get a chance. But hopefully today when we go into the blue hive here, we find that they have, uh, have made lots of queen cells. And if there's more than two or three, then I'm going to take one of those frames that has a queen cell on it and split it off to make uh, another small nucleus hive. And we're also going to um, check in on the, the blue queen here and see what they're doing for size, if they need more frames or not. But uh, hopefully this inspection goes a little bit better than the purple hive one did. I uh, seem to be not having a, a good beekeeping day today, so hopefully this one goes well. So let's get to it. A lot of bees up there. This hive has a huge, huge population again. Obviously, I should have um, taken more frames out of here to go with the queen. So we'll just set that down there. The uh, cover's been dragged sideways a little bit. Looks like they might have built a little bit out on the wall on this one here and then onto the the conversion shim frame. So let's see if we can just move them over a little bit. a bit more room on this side. Keepers, again. Gosh. I think one of the big issues is these conversion shims. They just leave uh, a bunch of space. Oh boy. Dang it. box again. They attach this one piece pretty good. <laughs> nice and straight. These other ones, not so much. So let's just... Set this one down here just quick. Let's see if we can pull this frame out because there is some more cross comb on the wall. So this is all full of nectar and pollen. 
jam-packed. And this side, same thing, pollen, nectar, jam-packed. Let's just go one more in to make a little bit more space for me. Seems that, I don't know, maybe I, there was a big flow on, so they got just crazy on building comb and stuff. So this has still got some brood, hasn't hatched out yet. I don't see the, uh, oh, there's the two queen cells. So there's two queen cells there. One is opened. So it might have been a little too late for that. So we'll just take a quick peek. So I guess we are too late. But one is open and one is still closed. I'm just gonna take a quick scan really quick. Although a virgin queen is really small. Uh, we should close them up right away. I just gotta grab that stuff there. I'll just give you a quick shot of that open queen cell and then uh, I'm gonna check this other frame, see if there's a queen cell in there that I can split off. And then if not, we're gonna put this back in and then put it all back together, not to disturb her too much. So you can see right There's the queen cell right there. Another one on top. So let's just get this really quickly done. Oops, sorry buddy. I thought there was a queen cell on this one. But I guess not. Oh, yeah. So there's one queen cell here and it's not opened yet. There's a, a tiny little teeny hole. It looks like some people are kind of grabbing at it. But so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put them into the, uh, the little three frame hive there in the, uh, in the Gertrude hive there. Okay, so that's all set to go. So we'll just throw this one in there. I'll just take a peek at this and do a quick look for that queen. It's, it's a honey frame, so there shouldn't be any... She shouldn't be on here, but we'll just knock these bees into here. This one has another queen cell right here too. Two more queen cells. Three more queen cells. So, three more queen cells. So that's five queen cells that are in here. One's hatched. But there's, oh, there's four right there actually. Take a little peek here. So we're still, we're probably just that one was the earliest one to hatch up. Woo. Right on my ear. So what we'll do is we'll 
give this other hive whoop over here some more bees. So they made some comb on the side wall again on this other side. Oh, this is not my day for beekeeping. And I just want to clean this cross comb off the side here. I'll do is I'll put one more frame in that other hive there and then a blank one in there and then because these ones this hive has a lot of workers so I'm sure they can build the comb out here I'll give you a quick look in here and you can see what kind of a mess it is so there you can see all the comb on the side that's full of nectar and possibly honey there and there's a bunch that's on the bottom because it all dripped out so I'm just going to clean this up really quick and then uh, throw them back together. That's got a bunch of brood. I think it's the one that's got queen cells on it. Yeah, this is the one that's got two queen cells on it. So maybe. And that one has like five. So maybe this one I'll put into that one over there. This one's going to be just a mess. Oh boy. Just messy. I don't know if I have enough room for another one. Let's 
see. Oh yeah, I guess. We squash. We are not having a good day. I'm just gonna take this shim all the way out. Let's put it down there. Come on. Not a good beekeeping day for Matt. Just shimmy them over, get them kind of centered in the. Uh, Centered in the uh, hive. Okay. There we go. Might be two or three trapped in there, but that is it. Second hive inspection today, and both of them were just terrible. <laughs> so we put those two frames into this little three-frame nuke here, and I, I slid one frame in between those two, and we make them as a resource gathering hive there, drawing out frames for the other bigger hives. So let's just check out the blue queen there and see if they have enough room. They profilize that uh, new soft cover a little bit. Oh, not too happy about that. I did make one cross comb piece here. This one here. Some raisin. Which is on the uh, which is on the frame right beside it. Let's just see if we can see the uh, make sure that she's still laying eggs. You can see there's that uh, piece of cross comb that they put on there. It's because there's like a little section, a cross tunnel section. I'll just try and straighten it out a little bit. So that's good. So now let's just see if we can see some eggs and stuff. Oh yeah. Lots of larvae, that stuff in there, just good to go. Lots of brood in the front. And these are two brood frames, so I'm going to actually put the frame between the two. And then hopefully they'll draw that out nice and straight. And then let's just Check out this front frame here. Ah, uh, they only have a maybe 10% of that front one done. So that's so they've got about, about two. So let's just close these guys back up. She's still doing good. Lots of room. There we 
we go. So I think the issue I have with this hive and with the purple hive is that uh, I just gave them too much free space right off the get-go. I should have um, used a division board or, or other frames that are drawn out with comb to, to get them to concentrate on drawing one, one of these big frames out at a time or two. Uh, so I think that's the issue that I'm having here. But I, I am making some uh, two new 14 frame hives that are going to go where these uh, the blue and the purple hive is here and I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll make them with uh, the frames orientated uh, warm side just like uh, Gertrude is there where then I just need one division board at the, the back of the hive that uh, I can limit their space with but uh, lesson learned I guess but fun nonetheless okay thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one